What's up, YouTube? Peace, power, and light to you all, family. I appreciate you for tuning into this video. Today, we're going to be talking about the law of polarity by way of the seven hermetic principles. So, without further ado, let's get right into it. So, the law of polarity states that everything is actually of different varying degree of one thing. And what do I mean by that? So, you have love, hate, you have hot, cold, you have good and evil, shoot, you have a plethora of really many other things, but it basically states that everything is the, the same thing, but it's just a different varying degree, and it really takes a perspective shift to see both, and how can we use the law of polarity that states that everything is but varying degrees of one major thing, because you have to understand that even in this lifetime, we, even every soul, every human being is just a manifestation of the one source of the all. We come from one source, one consciousness, but we are consciousness split up into many different beings and many different expressions of that being. So um, I actually love this. This is one of my favorite uh, principles to use. And it's one that I really resonate with a lot because I use that in conjunction with the law of mentalism, stating that we are all, everything is mental. We are all but one consciousness because you start to understand, like, whenever you're going through something bad or you may find, you may be, like I mentioned in the last video, you may um, find resentment in another person. But actually, that thing that you resent in that other person is something that you may resent within yourself. So you use these two laws, the law of polarity and the law of mentalism which also is uh, the law of oneness to a certain degree, right? You use those in degree to understand and mentally evolve yourself. It's a mental alchemy that you have to practice because everything is the same thing, man. Like, nobody is separate from the source. We are all from the one source being the creator, the all. And um, I love this. I love this principle. So... And understanding this, like I mentioned earlier, we can use this to evolve ourselves through mental alchemy by evolving our perception of the world and the things around us. You can use this law of polarity to transcend hate, resentment. You can also do it to connect more with the people around you and your surroundings because you understand like, hey, man, like even if somebody is feeling down, you understand that you can easily transcend that. And how do you do that? You can do that through self-talk. Whenever you may feel some type of doubt or some type of hate or resentment towards another person, you can go within, ask yourself, and really figure out what it is that what it is that you're finding resentful towards that person, and you can dissolve that within yourself. You can identify it, leave it where it's at, and you can come back to it, come back within yourself and use that hate as a chance to spread some love. You know what I'm saying? So whenever you are faced with hate, whenever you're faced with judgment, you can use that to give constructive criticism. You get that. You can use that to give love. You can use that to spread positivity. Or even within yourself and your own mental conversations, uh, you don't have to do it out loud, but within your own mental conversations, you may be feeling some type of doubt. You can use that doubt to give yourself confidence. Like, hey man, nah, I'm actually good at this. Or I actually do love myself. You feel me? If you're feeling down, you take those opportunities to reverse it to the top of the omega frequency. Or you can use that as an emotion, a uh, mental alchemy through by way of your emotions. It seems like I have to do this video for um, the emotional scale because that'll help explain all my hand movies that I'm doing. But basically, it's a mental al it's a mental alchemy. So through the law of polarity, we understand that everything is different varying degrees of one thing hot and cold north and south in school they teach us this but they don't they show us this but they don't teach us in the metaphysical or alchemical way north and south is still but one pole hot and cold is still but one pole of the same thing just different varying degrees even when something gets extremely frozen they call it freezer burn right so you have to understand that you can use this law of polarity to transcend and use it as a mental alchemy to turn bad situations into good situations. 
You can use it to change hate into positivity and love. You get what I'm saying? And by way of practicing this, and the more you do this, I promise you, you'll start to evolve your brain and evolve your mental functions by understanding that you can relate to your environment and relate to the things around you through yourself. You understand that it's all a part of you through the law of oneness, um, one of the universal laws, and also by changing your perspective on things. So that's pretty much the end of this video, guys. Um, again, as a recap, <laughs> The law of polarity is states that everything is just two varying degrees of one pole or one thing that is polarity. Now, here's time for the key. That was part of it, but this is real important. We can use this law of polarity by not using this law of polarity. <laughs> and I know this kind of sounds weird, but what do I mean by that? We have to transcend the law of polarity. That's basically what this means by understanding and changing your perspective about what things are. You understand that there is no separation. That is the greatest truth. There is no separation inside the universe. Everything is one. So by just dismissing the law of polarity in itself, which is a transmutable law, there are immutable laws in the universe and there are transmutable laws in the universe, basically meaning that they are changeable. The mutable laws, are changeable. The immutable laws are unchangeable. Polarity just so happens to be one of the ones that are mutable. So by transcending the law of polarity, we also connect more with the heart because you understand that everything is oneness. Everything is oneness. There is no such thing as polarity. Hot is cold. Love is hate. You get what I'm saying? So um, I might go make deeper in depth on this, um, but understand you have to transcend the law of polarity because it doesn't exist there's no such thing as two different things in one pole it's just a perspective it's a perspective you have to change your perspective so practice that understand and connect use this law of polarity to connect more with your surroundings use it more to connect with people around you your family people that you love people that you care about use it to transmute bad situations into good situations use it to evolve your understanding of yourself of your own being excuse me use it to to evolve your consciousness by essentially being aware of the law of polarity you understand that everything is the same everything is the same everything is just one so practice this daily Whenever you outside or some, I don't know, you may be cold, understand that that's just a varying degree of the same thing. Hot and cold is the same thing, love and hate. Light and darkness is only but one truth. Every truth is but a half truth. That is uh, in the Kabbalion, we understand that. My perspective, we could be talking about the same thing, but no two people will have the same perspective on the same subject because of their experiences, because of their perspective, because of their their mental perception of what is taking place in the external experience in this five sensory data that we receive from our environment. So use that law of polarity by changing the meaning that you have with the outside world or your environment. And you can also use it within to change your inner environment to understand that whenever a negative situation may come up in your life, you can use that same, same energy and power of that negative situation to transform that into a positive situation. So that is the end of this video, guys. I really appreciate you for tuning in. Use the law of polarity by not using the law of polarity and transcend polarity to evolve your consciousness to 5D, 6D consciousness. I appreciate you all. Um, I'll see you later. Peace.